What's going on everyone? It is Gary and welcome back to another video. Today's tutorial we're going over Adobe Illustrator and specifically touching upon the blend tool which is a super awesome tool inside of Illustrator and it can create some awesome effects, some awesome stocks and it's very easy to make gradients this way. I know that I get a really big headache messing around with the gradient tool in Illustrator especially and this basically cancels out all of that and it's really fun to use and it's really cool to kind of find the different effects that you can make. So uh, with that being said, if you guys are new to the channel and you guys are new to me, I'm Garrett. I upload um, Adobe tutorials every other day and if you guys can, subscribe to the channel and turn the notifications on and let's get right into the tutorial. So what I already did is I made a new document. I want you guys to do this along with me. So make a new document and put it on a, like a dark background or something like that, something that you're going to see the color change on. And then when you do that, make sure it's just the color and lock the whole entire background layer so that... Uh, you know it's right there you can't move it or anything and then I'm using a light orange and a darker orange so what you want to do is basically make a new layer grab the eclipse tool and just make one big circle right in the screen holding shift so it's perfect and then grab your lightest color if you guys are using like a black background I'd recommend grabbing like a blue or something like that just because you want to see what the color difference looks like so after you pick your color Hit Control C and Control F on a shape and then hold shift and drag all the way out to the right hand side and then change the color of that shape. So let's just say we're going to make it a darker orange. So now that you have these two, go to Object and then go to Group and then go to Window, Align and then right here click the center align horizontally just so that uh, it's in the middle of our screen and you're going to see everything a lot more attractively. So now that you have that, all you have to do now is since you grouped them all, you click it and both of them get highlighted. You want to go to Object and then go down here to Blend and then go to Blend Options. So on Blend Options, you're going to get a Spacing tab. So on the Spacing tab, you're going to see that it has Smooth Color, Specific Steps, or, specific, or Specified Distance. What I recommend doing is only using Steps. I think it's a lot easier to work with and it just lock, it looks a lot better in, in my opinion. And basically what the steps means is how many um, shapes is in between your start shape and your end shape. So let's say I'm going to put three shapes. All I have to do is click OK, go to Object, go to Blend, and then go to Make. So now that I click that and I click off the screen, you're going to see it added three shapes inside that are you know, in between the shades of my brightest color and my darkest color. And then since you already did that, all you're going to have to do now to change it is go to Object, Blend, Blend Options, and then change this to let's just say maybe 10. Hit OK and then you're going to see 10 colors. So it's really cool to kind of mess around and find different ways the colors can look. Of course if you want to just make it a straight gradient all you have to do is put it to like 50 or something like that and then I'll just blend it straight out. So that's really cool and you know this can be used when you're doing logo designs and stuff like that but the real question is how can I create those line arts and the cool stock looking images. So what I want everyone to do is delete that shape they just made and start again from straight from fresh. So you guys can use circles again and just make one circle here and then go to the bottom left and you're going to see the two color swatches. Hit the reverse arrow which is going to swap the fill color and the stroke color and then put the stroke to like let's just say three, three points. So hit on the screen, take this control C, control F, drag it all the way to the right. And then, you know, make sure that one color, of course, is different than the other color. Just make it a lot brighter or something like that. So now that you have that done, it's basically the same thing you just did. So all you have to do is highlight both of them, go to group, and you don't have to align it. But like I said, it does look a lot nicer. And then go to object, blend, blending options, and then put your specified steps to like 10 at first. Hit OK, object, blend, make. And then you're going to see that 10 shapes went in between that. Now, that personally doesn't look that good. You know, it could be a cool stock if you guys use it correctly. But what you really want to do is, you know, put it to like maybe like 20, let's just say 29. Some random number that we just thought of. And then go back to make. And then you're going to see it comes with a really cool stock. And you guys can do this with a bunch of shapes, a bunch of colors. And then what's really even cool about this is what if you take your keyboard and hit V on it, you're going to see that this blue path line goes in between from the middle of your left shape and the middle of your right shape. Just click that, grab your free transform tool which is above your or below your pen tool, excuse me, and then grab your path and you can even change the direction that your shape is going. And I personally think it's pretty cool and I hope you guys too. So that's the tutorial. I hope it guys, you know, it teaches you something. You guys can use this in your designs. You guys can use it in your motion designs, basically anything. And like I said, it's definitely a great skill to know. You guys can create some awesome stocks and some awesome effects using this. 
So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to throw this video a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and turn the notifications on. And I'm Garrett, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.